So today we implanted the first diaphragm pacing in the United Arab Emirates. Diaphragm pacing was developed to help quadriplegics breathe without the use of the ventilator. If somebody's on a ventilator, they're getting air forced into their lungs every minute of every day. What we developed is a way to stimulate the diaphragm to allow more natural breathing. So here at Brazil Hospital today, we implanted for the first time in the United Arab Emirates a young quadriplegic patient who's been on a ventilator for over 10 years. Now, today, after today, he'll start breathing, rehabilitating his diaphragm to get off that ventilator. It's something new for his therapy that's not been offered before in the United Arab Emirates. So one, I come from an academic organization at, at university hospitals, Case Western Reserve University. So I met with the team here a month ago. I identified a very strong team and excellent support group, a hospital that's offering the highest level of care, with reaching out to other systems around this area to offer this type of therapy. The surgeons were terrific today. I've trained them. They actually can offer this operation on their own here at Bergeel Hospital. We now have the ability to offer spinal cord injured patients, both adults and children, this technology to get off the ventilator. So this is a laparoscopic operation, a minimally invasive operation. So we just place a camera through the belly button to identify. Laparoscopic surgery is done here routinely. They offer many minimally invasive surgeries here in Brazil. They offer the highest critical care with their ICU staff. And so what we identified is offering this minimally invasive surgery, laparoscopic, less than an hour of surgery, to implant these electrodes that will help this patient get off the ventilator. One, this patient has been undergoing excellent care at his local facility, Provida. Um, he's been under good care and not had any pneumonias, any other problems. We now are able to offer this new therapy. It was implanted here. We'll program the patient today. The patient will start the process. Ten years on a ventilator, his diaphragm is atrophied and is deconditioned. It will be a daily aspect of working out his diaphragm to get him off the ventilator again. What we look for is a spinal cord injured patients are our initial group. Fortunately, spinal cord injury is not that common. It occurs, there's a lot of car accidents in every country, um, but we also have, offer this for anybody on a ventilator. When we look at our intensive care units, every day we have patients that are kind of struggling to get off the ventilator. Their program in a hospital like this one in Brazil that's offering high levels of care, a high risk surgeries, occasionally patients be on the ventilator. We know that this will help for those patients in the future also. We know in pediatrics, having a child on a ventilator is a significant problem for families. It changes everything in that family. Uh, there's a high incidence of SMA, spinal muscle atrophy, here in the United Arab Emirates. Offering this to those children is something that's going to really change how they're managed. Being on a ventilator is extremely expensive. If you're on a ventilator in U.S. dollars, it costs over $150,000 a year. The risk for pneumonia is fairly high. By offering more natural breathing, breathing with your own diaphragm, once again, we decrease that cost and decrease the risk for pneumonia. Well, whenever somebody's not using a muscle, we talk about physical therapy. Everybody's seen people you know, working out after a stroke, that muscle again. If you've not used your diaphragm, it'll actually atrophy very rapidly. It's, the diaphragm is used to working every minute of every day. We're now using this diaphragm pacing to start working it out again. This is uh, exciting to offer this first case in the United Arab Emirates. I go back to one of my first patients I ever implanted was Superman, Christopher Reeve. Um, I was a little bit more worried there because this is the second time I ever did the operation. So it was, I, it was a different thing because we're still learning. Now we can now say that at Bergeel, the same operation that Superman was offered can now be offered on a routine basis here. 